in the lower option. Because we will end the treatment with three lower incisors on the floor. Okay? So don't forget to write it in the concept. Because the demanding for our patient is increasing day by day. Okay? Now they came to the clinic asking about to correct half millimeter mid branches. Ask me to correct like half millimeter rotation in second degree mortar. I don't know how to so see that. And at the end of treatment, you should reevaluate the case if any preventive surgery is needed or not. After moving the teeth inside the body, there are three important tips in treating the case like this. Firstly, black accumulation is less effective while using mini brackets. To the company that has smaller brackets, bonding tubes on the molars, not pants, but the pants will increase the inflammation. And also, removal of cyst composite as you can. You should do the magnification. And I'm wondering how many of the bones are working without tubes. Okay, it's very, very important. You can use four x tube to see all the field, but magnification is about magnification in the bonding in every step. And finally, avoid as you can in a stomach otherwise, and you can do a deep surprise because accumulation of plaque may be less in that case. Okay? Try to do as much as you can from these steps. And we started the case, we did the delivery and the alignment and the chain from the first molar to first molar in the upper arch and in the lower arch. And the bone will fall during space closure. After letting an alignment starting space closure, you should know that you should use light forces, light plastics. You can leave the wire not only for one month, you can increase the period to one and a half months if you have even some mobility. And from my experience, I can accept the cases like this if they have no mobility. Okay? Because no mobility in cases like this means that attachments for the kid are good and the reduction, the even small part of reduction, is very strong. Okay? Maximum mobility, great amount of mobility, not more than that. And the patients accept the challenge as well. But not all the time you went well with your teeth. Using life sources as teeth affected by redundant teeth are more likely to tip. Okay? You can use long chain, not continuous chain, not short chain. And anchoring demanding will be more difficult in teeth that the anterior posterior vertical dimension as molar teeth with reduced attachment levels and uh, offer less resistance to unwanted tooth movement. It's important to minimize any extrusion of molars as this may further reduce attachment levels. And extrusive <laughs> movement is unstable. It's also necessary to use light sources as these affected by reductive disease are more likely to tip. So after starting space collusion, poor start to four anteriorly and the space for the lower center start to be closed. The fist moved inside the bone as you see from the loose photos. It's not known now there as before. And now I change the plan to decrease the anchorage for anterior teeth traction. I will connect the space between the canine and premolar and start to mesialize tooth by tooth to mesialize the first premolar and then mesializing the second premolar and then mesializing the first molar because I want not to retrude or retract the anterior teeth more than that. So now I change the chain from molar to molar to be from K9 to K9. Okay? To close the anterior space on. After one month, the space closed. So now it's time to relate the upper incisors and lower incisors and start to visualizing the first two molar. Start to visualize the fourth by chain and then to start to visualize the second three molar. <coughs> so now, ligating the anterior teeth by the initial wire, starting to visualize the first three molars by actually upper and lower. And you can focus on the molar relation, three molar relation, plus plus one. And I'd like to finish the case plus one molar, plus one three months. Okay? So the anchors in the upper should be the same like the anchor in the lower for visualizing the upper and lower. And in every visit, you can focus on that. After visualizing the upper and lower first three molars, I ligated the eighth anterior teeth 
and start to visualize the second and the first models for Okay? So like sequential visualization. So after visualizing the second three models and first models, I write have now done. Done in the interior part. I have excess change part. At the beginning of treatment was there's a fishnet, a normal right central inside. But now here you change it. Okay? I need now to make a period surgery. I have access to them without augmentation, without period grafting, without bone grafting. Now, look at the gingival cleft here, above the exposed root for the lower incisor. Okay? It's time now for Aster, the periodontist, to treat the case as a periodontist. We need to make a little bit small surgery. We need to make gingival grafting for the excess part. You can imagine how to start the case with gingival resection and reducing the case with gingivectomy with gingival plastic. Now we can do gingivectomy, gingival plastic, and for the V-shaped defect, V-shaped other dress for the lower central incisor, we can do a little bit gingival devitalization and food chain for the V-shaped defect. So the gum will cover the Okay? So gingivectomy, gingival plastic, and digitalization for the defect and suture. Deep scaling as well. Because it was very, very difficult for the patient to do hygiene failure from that area. But there is not enough time now for bone healing. We are at the end of the treatment, but not completely facing the case. Don't forget the visual size, because the spaces, especially here, are capable to open again very, very fast. So now, healing happened, and it's time to still play. We can remove places, and in every time, we can uh, make a testing for the mobility for the teeth. And this is a video for removal, but uh, I feel that you were afraid, like, while removing the place, the teeth after this long journey to start about one year, and the teeth will get back while you are in the big places. It was no mobility. Despite the normal teeth. I think you are tired from us. Patient, there is a huge need for fixed retainer. And for the lower arch, 
we have closed 12 millimeter space without destroying the cylinder incisor, the bone forming, and you can imagine it would like to do implant for this central without orthodontic treatment. It's very, very thin bridge. Before starting the universe, it was like 3 mm bridge for the lower left central incisor. But the orthotic movement for more bone, deviate and angle, and the change about what helps the end of treatment. You should know that fixed permanent container is a must in very compromised cases, and you should avoid to use rigid retainers. Because over rigid retainers can help the uh, like the normal physiological component or more, more the normal what should I have to say? It's like the, the normal mobility for the in, inside the socket. Okay, you know that? So we won't not need to attempt that. So now the change up that is better in the upper and especially for the lower, because the lower the are very difficult in the treatment. And the treatment will not compromise patient is not in black triangle, as we said. And finally, one year follow up for the patient, the bubble became better and better. And don't forget very to make scaling and root planning for this patient to avoid any campus formation. And the patient was very, very happy at the end of treatment. We achieved class one motors, we achieved class one anteriorly and class one canines. This is from a clinical point of view. But if we go for panoramic X-ray, you can focus here, we overturned it. The angulation was very bad. We have corrected the angulation there. And the bone in the lower arch there was huge bone absorption. And it became better at the end of treatment. The teeth became now inside the bone more, okay? But if you focus more here, there is a little bit the resorption increases in the upper incisors because it was difficult to prevent that. So here is the bone that is better, pre and post, the post is better than the pre. But after X-ray, there is a little bit root resorption in the upper central, especially the left side. It was before the start of the treatment, but it may increase a little bit. And for the lower incisors, there is also cellular resorption happened happen in the apex. And for the treatment, the greater risk of root resorption in these cases are high due to reduced root surface area. So in the center of resistance, moves to epically. So all the force you will apply in the epical curve because all the uh, most uh, large amount of the root outside the bone, then the risk of more root absorption and don't forget the concept in these cases. Very, very important to write all these drawbacks, you should write in the concept. And post operatively, the profile has changed, the so posture become better and better, and the vision was accomplished. The vision now can smile well. The teeth appeared during the smiling. The buckle corridors were better after treatment. No space in the upper arch, no space in the lower arch. And there is a rule that your limitation is only your imagination. So how to imagine how you'd like to face the case from a starting point. This goes with the second attempt. Also as a chunk for period. It's a very, very difficult case. The upper left central incisor severely rotated, and the patient would like to solve this puzzle. After diagnosing the patient, there is two stubborn numbers in the midline. Okay? There is blood population in the right side and also in the left side. Plus 13 years meditation. And I don't know why he, he didn't follow the dentist all that time. Why he didn't? But it's the dentist to extract this stubborn numbers for that age, it's 13. But after they notice the patient, the upper left central like saying bye bye. Okay? And when I was planning that case, I was thinking about can I expect the stubborn normal and extract the upper left central, because it seems like outside the bone, to extract the upper right central, the upper left central, and do it reshaping. Because the sober norm was here and the upper left central is like 140 degrees <coughs> rotation and for the upper right central it was like 90 degrees rotation so it was very very difficult to derotate 
and move inside the bone was very very difficult and to move the gum and move the bone as well okay and to correct this difficult case so my plan after diagnosing the panoramic x-ray for the root form for the sober memory but if I would like to extract the sober memory I would like to move the root of the center more than body movement I need to do like root movement easily especially for the upper left center to move the other left central and I would like to do this with this difficult case. To accept the challenge, don't forget to call this key from the patient. Because sometimes you can find root absorption of the permanent root. So you'd like to extract. So from CBCP, the central incisor is flared. There is a little bit amount of point in healing, so maybe half millimeter. And there is addition of the upper left central incisor. I can see. Are you sure? <laughs> I didn't mean it. <coughs> okay, I would like to move fast. Because they said to be like only 30 minutes. Okay. Three options were extract permanent center and reject sober memory. Okay? Plus you expect me for sober memory. Or to extract sober memory, rotating the two centrals, which is the digital one. And I went for this digital approach. I went for extracting this cover memory, and after that, committing like a uh, chain for irrigating the central incisor, like reciprocal enrich. But you know that the forward chain just slipped in that case. So I started the patient with the right central, and then I put the packet on the distal medial surface and start to extrude. And after an extrusion, the teeth moved inside the bone, and the bone formed and the change got moved down in slightly and now it's like to do carbon opposite force to do carbon opposite force like getting the left side and like getting the right side after correcting the right center and making it change to the left and from the palate to the right so the upper left center will be rotated and the rotation will be corrected and when it less than 90 degrees I start to put eyelids vertically this is my favorite plan in this case to put the eyelids vertically and to kind of insert the wire in, so decreasing the, the bending angle a little bit. And to use a couple of tie wires will be professional for that case. The center are irritated, removing the bracket, removing the eyelid. The gentleman now were good, and now it's time to rebound and increase the angulation a little bit by the bracket to correct the root angulation and making some rest for the patient, for healing for the gun. And closing the chain by training all the space for the patient. At the end of treatment, you can go for gingivoplasty and gingivectomy, as we said in the previous case. So, also, very to break the approach in predictive to compromise patient, minor periodontal surgery may be required to prevent relapse after orthotic therapy. And the, this surgery will be like CSF surgery. It's circumferential, supracrystal. How to cut the gum from gingival fibers so the gum and gingival fibers will heal on the new position so you can decrease the relapse by the So, also, firstly, try to make more gum, try to make more bone, and after the end of treatment, you can do gingivectomy and you can do gingivoplasty at the end of the change of after meeting was amazing. The change can move like 4 to 5 millimeters downward and the patient was can laugh at the end of the <coughs> So now let's go for the third option. Also add a dark curtain or the extrusion to enhance the a little bit and form more crystal bone. But let's go for the missing lateral incisor. As a rule, you can think about space opening or space closure. And I will present these two types of cases. Opening or closure. From Bristol Contest types of modules, why today? Talk about that. There are various factors to be considered in decision making. The first one, malclusion and extent of high potential. Okay, how many teeth you are? You missed. Only one in that cell, you pause. Also, the malclusion. Do you have crowding with missing lateral or spacing with missing lateral? You have class 2 case, so you can use the space to retract, or you have class 3 case and using the upper case, open the space and doing implant. So, it's not about the 
patient what to plan, how to finish the cake well. And then the feature, the shape of the teeth, the shape and the color of the gown, 